James Adams of TriStateFootball.com here with Fred Cranford, the boss of the Loveland Tigers coach. I mean, <laughs> this is one of the most amazing final five minutes of a game I've ever seen in my life. Down by 14 points, you get an interception to get it going, then you score on an 80-yard touchdown when it looked like Mount Healthy was going in to win it. I mean, this is starting to look like destiny, Coach. Well, uh, these kids are proud of them. They're resilient. And this is Friday night football in Southwest Ohio and its finest. I, re- I really believe but you saw both teams being exhausted. They left everything on the field. It's, it's really it's a shame someone had to walk away, uh, you know, with the loss. But a lot of credit to Mount Healthy. They, they had their kids prepared. They played hard. Um, you know, and credit to our kids for believing. They didn't quit. Persistent. And until the, really, the, the, you know, the, the final uh, final horn, and you know, I told them adversity. We had to keep our chin up and, and take what they gave us. So defense wins championships. Obviously, it got us to this point, and it carried us through to the night. So I'm proud. Coach, you guys really go into the locker room down because you have three plays inside the five and don't score. You go down 21-14. What do you say to your guys to keep them motivated, keep them in the game at that I mean, point? That's part of football. I see you guys you know, go home every Saturday and you guys watch the best of the best play on college, you know, college football and the ups and the downs and the momentum swings. That you know how we walked off of the first half it is what it is. Shake it off. We had a lot of football left to play, uh, so that's where I'm really proud of our kids just to be able to rebound, put it behind them, and then finish the game. Coach, you guys love to run the football, but it looked like when you had to throw the football, it worked out pretty good tonight. Yeah, I mean it's. Uh, you know, you get down 14 points, you probably think I'm a little bit more uh, more pass-oriented, but we just we felt like we didn't really need to at the time and kind of, you know, took advantage of, of a few down the road, and uh, it's worked out the way it did. 13-0, and the 10-0 and undefeated regular season. Now the region champions, one of four teams left in the state. Coach, how does it feel to be uh, one of those elite proud, teams? Proud of the community. Proud to be a Tiger. It's one week right now. It gets redundant. One week at a time. We'll wake up tomorrow. Enjoy this tonight. But wake up and, and prepare. Uh, and, you know, to ride it out as long as we can. Coach, lastly, you talk about the community. Everywhere in Loveland that I went this week, you couldn't turn your head without seeing a reference to the Tigers. Yeah. Talk about the support you guys uh, are getting. It's unbelievable. I'm not really speechless the way this community is. Has uh, wrapped, you know, they just wrapped themselves around around what's going on here, and it's they. they but they they got to understand too. They're 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 much of uh, this success, you know, as we are as a team, and they bring a lot to the table. You saw it, eight spirit buses. Uh, it, it's, it's it's a proud time to be a Tiger. Coach, congratulations Thank on you. a great victory. Good luck next week. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Appreciate it.